Tony Poulos here at MWC 19, and with me today, Alwyn Sequera, who is the Senior Vice President and GM at VMware. Welcome, Alwyn. Good to be here. And also Manish Mangal, who is the Chief Technology Officer for Network Services at Tech Mahindra. Guys, it's good to catch up with you. This whole event is all about 5G. It's really becoming a reality, and it's presenting some really interesting challenges for operators around the world. Firstly, Alwyn, what's your perspective on this? Thank you, Tony. Yeah, from our perspective, there are three very fundamentally, foundationally different things that are going on in the industry today. Clearly, 5G. 5G is about as big a change as we've seen in a long time. It's a fundamentally new architecture. It's a software-defined architecture. It's a distributed architecture going all the way from the core to the edge. So a lot more to be said there. The second big thing that we're seeing up to now in the industry we had vertical stacks, whether they came from the uh, Nokia's or the Ericsson's or the Huawei's of the world. And for the first time, we are beginning to see a separation of the underlying network functions, virtualization platform, NFV, and the functions that reside on top of them, the VNFs. So that's a second major change that's uh, beginning to happen in the industry. And the third thing I'm beginning to see for the first time that the IT cloud, the network cloud within these organizations used to be two distinct areas. We call it the telco cloud where it's, we are coming together for the first time with respect to the network cloud, the IT cloud, and the edge cloud. So three very significant uh, changes that are going on in the industry today. Manish, in your yes, viewpoint? Sir. Thank you. So I couldn't agree more with Alvin that first thing is fundamental is actually, 5G is really about revolution fundamentally. Uh, you know, we have seen the evolution of the technology go along from 2G, 3G, 4G to 5G. Uh, the, this is really the time where we are seeing 5G is not just about better speeds, lower latencies. It's all about transforming the businesses as well. So all the conversation that we have seen is about how 5G enables enterprises and enterprises who have been living uh, on a cloudification journey of their own. Uh, they moved the applications from their on-prem to the cloud and now they are looking at, with the 5G capability, how do I move that more closer to the edge? Hence, the capabilities of 5G with lower latency, the MEC platform, uh, and high speeds is going to be a fundamental disruptor in terms of how enterprise use uh, 5G. Well, an integral part of that, of course, is NFV. It's a core technology in these new 5G networks. But how does VMware, for example, lead in these virtualized mobile cloud distributed 5G environments? Yeah. It's really a big terminology. Yeah. It's, VMware, as you know, uh, created the entire virtualization architecture, and uh, we are out there in enterprise data centers everywhere, 50, 70 million workloads running today. And then we've extended that to the cloud, including our relationships with big cloud providers, with IBM, with uh, AWS, et cetera, et cetera. And in that regard, we had a great underlying software-defined data center uh, platform. We've taken that same thinking into the telco world and created the network functions virtualization platform and brought the powers of virtualization, whether it's storage, compute, network virtualization in the platform and manage. And our number one focus is to make sure that these platforms are the best place to house the virtual network functions in a multi-vendor environment, whether they come from vendor A or B or C, making sure that that's a great environment for them to work on and number two, for them to interoperate and mobilize these VNFs across the edge, uh, from the core, through the network, et cetera, number one. And then second big thing from our perspective is creating, after creating such a great landing point, finding a seamless way to migrate applications from the old world into such an environment. Because as uh, you will all agree, the evolution to 5G must be so, an evolution, not a forklift upgrade. So from our standpoint, those are the two most fundamentally important things, a great, robust landing pad, and secondly, a seamless migration to that landing pad. And Manish, how are yeah. you helping to, to make all that happen? Absolutely. So, so first of all, virtualization uh, is not dependent on 5G. It has started with 4G, but it's a requirement for 5G. So as we look at the 5G deployments, we don't think any of the 5G deployments will ever happen without the virtualized infrastructure which is absolutely the way industry wanted to go and they have accomplished the goal of going that direction. However, very important thing is that as you disaggregate the capabilities to build this network, 
it's also very important to put it all together in a way it works seamlessly. And that's the role that Tech Mahindra has taken as a catalyst to make that ecosystem work. So we have a couple of initiatives. One is called VNF Exchange. It's a platform that we have that allows us to create the vertical layers of building the infrastructure from an NFVI to the different VNFs and putting an automation on top of it that allows all these different network functions to come together in a best of breed format. And the second thing is that how do you put an automation for a, not just for the deployment point of view, but to sustain it once you have deployed it. So for that, we recently launched in this MWC a framework and a solution called netops.ai. And it's a, it's, a, it's a solution for a automation and a managed services that effectively will allow an operator to build a network that is completely virtualized, operate it in a completely DevOps-based environment, and manage it in the most effective way possible. Uh, and really create an AI enablement on top of it so you can do a lot more predictive maintenance, predictive analytics, so that your operations can run seamlessly. So that's the role that uh, Tech Mahindra is playing as a catalyst, and we are working with our customers, uh, operator customers across the world in making that happen. Yes, some of the things Manish talks about here are indeed what uh, ma virtualization makes possible. The fact that you can take a vertical silo, a hardware box, be able to disaggregate the different functions, be able to compose them with folks like uh, TechMinder, putting together a framework uh, to automate uh, in a, a smart, intelligent fashion, and uh, pulling together multiple VNFs, all integrated well. And this is the power of virtualization. It's also what makes uh, services and time to revenue so much more compact and available for our provider family, for our CSPs. And of course, these days, partnerships are critical for the success of any type of platform or environment. How is the partnership working out, and how did it come about in the first place? I, I'll let uh, Manish speak to this too, but from my perspective, usually great partnerships start with a meeting of the minds. Right. As you can clearly tell from Manish's comments here, from TechMinder's comments, this is all about realizing that there's an inflection point in the industry. It's a new architecture. We are decomposing and bringing back the bits again. It's like Humpty Dumpty putting it uh, together again, <laughs> but in a much more smart fashion. So uh, TechMinder is after what we are after, which is being able to recreate the entire uh, environment, albeit in a more agile, um, uh, powerful fashion, automated fashion. So from my perspective, taking the technologies, bringing together uh, these technologies through programs, but most importantly, putting it all together through a solution and integration where TechMinder has played a big role with the telcos for um, the last many years, complementing VMware's technology, which we've had in the market for several years, I believe is going to be a very uh, fruitful, productive uh, partnership, but most importantly, bringing value to our joint customers. And that's five solutions, apparently, uh, Manish. Absolutely. In fact, you know, one of the things that we say to ourselves is that SI, which is, the, which is the industry that we are in, tr traditionally used to be called as a system integrators. Yeah. We are saying we are still an SI, but we are not a system integrator, we are a solution integrator. <laughs> and in fact, we are taking it even further, we are a solution orchestrator. So our role at the end of the day is to work with great partners like VMware, create this capability as part of the VNF exchange, and take it to the CSP so they have the options to decide how best they want to uh, deploy their architecture, design their architecture, uh, and the relationship with VMware has been phenomenal for us. They have been extremely good partner for us in our VNF exchange program as well as in our netops.ai framework. So we are looking forward to working with VMware a lot more closely and taking these solutions to our CSP customers as we go along. Well, you're both certainly in the right place at the right time with regard to 5G platforms and solutions. I wish you both the very best for the future. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you, Tony.